We are undercover passion on the run Chasing love up against the sun We are strangers by day, lovers by night Knowing it's so wrong, feeling so right Hey guys, fucked up the melody slightly, but it's, it's fine, who gives a shit? Also, I'm on time for once. Uh, let me just mess with this thing that you can't see. There we go. Alright, so it's just me again this week. Uh, I was going to have someone, but she unfortunately fell ill. So, hopefully another time. We didn't even get we didn't even get a chance to do sound check. She was that sick. Or come up with a Digimon to represent her on the overlay. <clears throat> the young man was reading the sports paper. Anyway. So, I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure what the thing. One of the. It was either this one or this one. Uh. Just check. Okay. Is one of these two? Uh, it had like a multiple op. It had multiple options to press. And we picked one of them. We didn't pick the other one. You said I remember her well in reference to the waitress. Did you have any particular features that you can identify her by? Particular features? It's a disgrace, that's what it is! Sorry? You can see all the way up to her, her, you know, her ankles! She's practically naked in that uniform! So the particular feature you recognize about the waitress is... Her outfit? But anyone could wear such a uniform! Even me! Hold on, hold on, hold, 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 hold on, hold, 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 hang on, hang on, I should have had this prepared beforehand, but that's okay. But, but your honer, anyone, literally anyone, where is it gone? Hold on. Uh. Here we go. Anyone could wear such a uniform, Your Honor. Even me. <laughs> Uh, I don't know who made this, but you are a god among ants. I just need to bring that to everyone's attention. Mr. Wright, please spare the court from any further mental anguish from that image and the fact that I can never see it. Don't get all excited, Nick! You gotta keep yourself together! I guess I got a bit carried away. There's so much fan art of Maid Phoenix, it's 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 great. And Edgeworth. Okay, what's this one? You do seem to remember several details about her appearance, but what about the most crucial de detail of all? Her face. <laughs> As if I wouldn't remember that! Objection! Objection! The witness noticed the straps of the accused, I say, the accused's apron. He's unlikely to make a mistake about a face. That's right! Wait. That's right! I can even tell you the color of the ribbon in her hair! It was red! So you see, there's nothing I say, there's nothing wrong with the witness's eyesight. Hmm. There's no doubt he remembers the waitress pretty well. What should I do? I get the feeling there's something more to this. Here we go! So we did straps last time, and he said, I don't have a weird strap fetish, which he does, but tell me about her butthole. Have you identified any- 
The identifying features that you described are all things you would see from the back. Yeah, I was looking at her thick woodjikuga. Just camera. Oh my god, I got it. I adjusted it in the right direction. First try. Sure what? Is it possible that you never saw the waitress from the front at all? Objection. Ha! He's got you there. I say he's got you there, Gramps. People normally talk about facial features when they're asked to describe someone. Not their thick booty. But this witness's testimony is nothing but straps and ribbons. Kinky. This is harassment. I tell you I'm not obsessed with straps or ribbons. This is harassment, not the way I talk about the serving girls. I'm just telling you what I saw. Mr. Kudo, the court requests that you add any details about any identifying features. Features you observe from the front, that is, to your testimony. Sure, sure. This old man's testimony is getting longer and longer! If I can't find a hole in it soon, it'll get even longer, I bet. There wasn't anything that caught my interest when I saw her from the front. Because I like the thick booty! I, I, I don't know why I read it in my normal voice. There wasn't anything that cut my interest about it when I saw it from the front. Uh, give me one second to do some shit. My phone wants to update, I can do that later. You didn't find anything to be distinct, but you you didn't find anything to be distinct, but you did clearly see the witness's face, yeah? No question about it! And come this far to back down now, Victor Kudo never backs down, cause I'm a man! Manly man! That's not the answer I was looking for, but okay! This has turned into a matter of pride for old Sini now, I guess. I wonder if he really did see Maggie's face or not. Like I thought, we need some concrete proof of this. Proof that the old guy didn't see the waitress clearly from the front. Do you think old Sini really saw Maggie do it? Well, he probably had his eye on the waitress the whole time. That's why he was there. But he was there for the cute outfits, right? Not the waitress. I, I guess. Huh, she makes a good point, though. Hey, did I just see something clever? No, Maya, shut the fuck up. Aww. I wonder if the waitress Mr. Kudo saw was re really was Maggie. That's what we have to figure out. Yeah. Anyway. There wasn't anything that caught my interest about her from the front. <laughs> Mr. Kudo, I would please I would like you to please look at this photograph I mean apron. Here! Yeah, filthy thing would shoot fill like you just perf filth like you just perfectly. Actually, it reminds me of what my grandson looks like. Just after he's been done eating. Have you ever seen this before? Of course you haven't! You think I'd forget something as dirty as that? Eh? Well, you yeah, have weird fuck! Phoenix is immune to bird seeds when he's like in the right. Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh. What? what? What is it? Ever since I said you have weird clot, there's been an eerie silence in here. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, Mr. Kudo. <clears throat> Mr. Kudo, this apron is the apron worn, worn by the defendant on the day of the poisoning. <clears throat> and as you just said yourself, you wouldn't forget something like this, which means if you had really seen this apron before. <clears throat> yes, you know what I'm getting at. You couldn't have possibly seen the waitress from the front. Hehe, <laughs> oopsie doopsie, I had a senior moment! Witness! Witness for the love of Christ! 
Why can you people never give accurate testimonies? You can't just oops your way out of this, you fuck! Ha! Well, well, I say, well, well. Looks like we finally have a genuine trial on our, on our hands. Glug, glug. Uh, listen, Trot. Hear the fa- I say, here are the facts. On the day of the incident, there was only one other waitress in the restaurant. That being the defendant, Miss Maggie Bird? Exactly. And when that one waitress put the poison into the coffee cup, this old guy was watching. Hmm. I hope you understand the gravity of the situation, Mr. Kudo, you fuck. The fate of the defendant may rest on what you remember. May rest on what you say you remember seeing. Just tell the court exactly I say exactly what you saw, Gramps. I'm Godot. You can rely on me, Captain. My nagging's in perfect working order. Obviously. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember a single occasion when I forgot what burger a customer wanted. He... He can't remember? Probably more... Oh, wait. He can't remember? Probably more like he messed up so many times he's blocking it out! I'm my... <laughs> Very well. Let's see just how good your memory and attention to detail is, Mr. Cadeau. Tell us what you remember about the victim. Uh, let's save. Here's another one of those pesky young types, wearing a broken pair of spectacles. It's called a scouter. A broken pair of spectacles! Yeah, a newspaper in his right hand, and noisy brat kept rustling its pages. The young man was listening to the wireless. I remember that well. In the servant girl in question brought over the Javicino. The little fidget spinner picked up the cup in his free hand and took a ship. I said he was all like, let me get some ship. The testimony we have just heard was to test how credible the witness's memory is. It seems to me that he remembers the victim in a great deal of detail. Oh yes, I hate those you-know-what tapes who are so vague about everything. How are we going to handle this, Nick? We only need to do one thing. We just need to prove that the old man's memory is full of shit. Just trip him up, you mean? Isn't that kind of cruel? No. I suppose, but it's what I do best. Nick, what the fuck? I really like saying ja Javit- Javit- Javicino in that voice. He brought over a Javicino! The, the exact thing that plays in my head, even though my voice sounds nothing like this, is in Meet the Fuckers when Jack is like, when Robert De Niro's like, um, Dina, wake up and make Greg a cappuccino! Shake a leg, woman! And uh, the, the word cappuccino plays in my head whenever I say, Javicino! Spectacles? You mean that scouter? Is he fucking spectacles? Dark glasses to you. One of the lenses was green, but the other one was broken. Newfangled rubbish. It's why I remember him so well. He did have some kind of lens over his left eye. Fucking scouter looking ass. What did it say about his power level? But I wouldn't have called it a pair of glasses. Hmm. He seems to have been wearing some rather modern looking shades. Perhaps I should take to wearing some and rival Mr. Cadeau's shop appearance. Ah! We better come up with something sharp and quick! I'll get a lightsaber. Or the glasses from Star Trek. Guess I'll wait and see if I should challenge him about the spectacles. A newspaper in his right hand? Oh wait, I don't need to read this. Newspaper was a sports paper, was it? Was it? Hey, young hooligan! 
I nearly asked him, can't you even read without fidgeting, eh? How is I supposed to be able to read the back page with all that rustling going on? I need to find out if Gustin Braun retained his championship title. It was his paper, not yours. If you wanted to know so bad, why don't you buy your own, you fuck? Why are you looking at me like that for, him? Huh? How dare you judge me? Ah, God! Oh, it's Gustin. It's Gutsen. Did I say Gustin? Oops. Gutsen Brown got beaten yesterday, by the way. Anyway. The wireless? The decadent young rascal! In my day, it was one or the other. Read the paper or read listen to the wireless. Oh my god, Senpai, thank you so much for the raid. You're my friend. You are my power. Welcome and welcome everyone. How is everyone doing today? For those who don't know me, I'm Dark Ringer. Uh, I'm a variety streamer. I play literally whatever I feel like. Uh, I'm also a voice actor, which is why I'm playing this. So if you're here for some professional-ass gameplay and deep intellectual commentary, you should probably go somewhere else. <laughs> but welcome. How'd the stream go? What were you streaming? A bu what is that emote? A bunny! Bunny! <laughs> That's adorable. Hey, Kamitiki, Cy Cyborg's Loth. It's my IRL friend. Yeah, it is. How are you, Senpai? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Anyway. In my day, it was one or the other. Read the paper or listen to the wireless. Oh, boy. And using an earpiece? It's selfish, that's what it is. Why? I was straining my ears, but I couldn't catch any of it. Why? Submit! Submit! Cyborg's Law, thank you so much for the follow. You're awesome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. And you know what? I'm just gonna do- Even though everyone in the chat right now is from, uh, Jun's stream, I'm gonna shout you out anyway. Uh, assuming I can spell your name correctly. Oh my god. Fat fingers on the keyboard. There we go. They're streaming some art. Hey, you're welcome. I hope your stream went well. Anyway, I restrained my ears, but I couldn't catch any of it. Even though it wasn't my radio or my paper, and I had no business trying to catch any of it. Was he that desperate to listen to the radio? What are you looking at me like, at me like that for here? Oh, I missed it. Ah, Jack, stop that! Fuckhead! Uh, press. You mean the waitress who you only saw from behind, right? You're one of those. You're one of those, are you? You never let anything go, isn't that right? Maybe. It was okay, but I got a raid and run. Oh, all good. Thank you for popping in, and thank you so much for the raid. Love you, senpai. Have a fun screamy stream. <laughs> I will try not to scream as much. Where is your matter if I show it from the front and from behind? Do it in Oh, fuck it. Ah! Better not push it until I've got some Harvard Evans. No, I'm gonna keep pushing. His free hand? Yeah. Which hand was that? Weren't you listening before? Cloth ears! <laughs> I said he was rushing the newspaper with his right hand, didn't I? If his free hand wasn't his right hand, which hand was it, you moron? God fucking! Ha! Perhaps the great Mr. Trot has three hands. Well, I've definitely got a third leg, Godot. He shows only asking. No need to gang up on me and treat me like a freak, you fuck. The whole point of this cr of this cross examination is to establish is one thing. That this old guy that this old guy's memory has more holes than a slice of Swiss. I guess we need, just need to find a contradiction in his testimony somewhere, huh? Anything will do, even the smallest detail. You just need one mistake and he's ours. I've already found it. So, supposedly he picked it up in his left hand. But the the lip mark is on, like, th this side. The complete opposite of what I'm doing. Uh, 
Uh, anyway. Uh, let's save before we do this, actually. Bring me a goddamn Javachino! Jack sh Mr. Kudo, do you remember what you were told at the start of this testimony? That this was a way of testing the credibility of your memory. Hey, no, hey, no! There's nothing wrong with my memory, I tell you! Nothing! If I ain't got anything wrong, I'll eat these seeds and sing the pigeon song! I will hold you to this. Care to tell us where this is go- I say where this is going, trot. According to Mr. Kudo, the victim was holding the paper in his right hand while drinking coffee with his left. He'll take a potato chip and eat it. <laughs> oh, with his free hand, which would make that his left. <laughs> what is this, kindergarten? But I would like the court to please take a look at this. That's the cup of the, that's the cup the victim used, correct? Yes, and on the rim you'll notice the mark left by the victim's lips. Hmm. Yes, there is a stain left by the coffee. If you consider where that stain is, you'll clearly see that the victim was holding the cup in his right hand. Well, Mr. Kudo, the court is waiting for your epic performance! You said you'd eat those seeds and sing the pigeon song! Sing, puppet, sing! Mr. Kudo, I'm afraid this is simply not acceptable. I think the witness had better go back to the park where he came from. Wait! You hear the government to stand here and listen to you telling me I'm mad? You're wrong! I don't care about that dirty cup you cup! I know what I saw! You, you still insist on your testimony? That young brat was holding the cup in his left hand! Oh yes, no question! I am a good law-abiding citizen, I am! I assault people with seeds! It's that dead young hot pot and you, you spiky-haired yahoo, who are at fault! Oh, me? Thank you, old... Okay, Boomer, we've heard quite enough from you already. Uh. Don't call me an old man, old man. Don't call me a Boomer, Boomer! Been around for 68 years, you have! You can't ignore me! You look 80. Listen to what I gotta see! I'm sorry, Mr. Kudo, but... Sure, why not hear a little more? Why, Godot? Why are you like this? M Mr. Godot! But this is my 16th cup, I say my 16th cup of coffee. So this is your final stand. Thank you, Captain! You can rely on victory! <laughs>